Hi there, it's Anne Tui from Rim Junkie and I do apologise. It has been such a long time since I've done a Facebook Live. To be honest, I had trouble setting the whole thing up because I'd forgotten what to do. Anyway, I have decided because so many of you have been getting in touch to say you're building a house, you're renovating a house or you're extending your house and the same old story, you're finding things a bit challenging, a bit overwhelming, so many decisions to be made and you just don't know what to do, you don't want to waste money and you just want to get it right. So I had thought every single Thursday afternoon from now on, I will do a Facebook Live video specifically for people who are building um, because so many of you are and that is just so, so wonderful. And today I have asked, actually I put lots of questions out to see what you wanted help with and what you wanted me to talk about most and one biggie that came up was lighting and electrical spec. And um, I am seeing some dialogue here so I think some of you are here and I need the glasses to see. Emma Bird is watching oh, all the way from Chicago. Well, hi, Emma. It is so good to see you. Um, it's telling me to swipe to the left to see who's watching. Okay, I can't see anybody yet, but that's okay. There are a couple of you there, and hopefully you're building or thinking of building or thinking of renovating or extending. So anyway, to go back to what I'm going to be talking about today, you've been saying to me that you find electrical placement difficult and lighting placement difficult. And I know what you mean about the electrical placement because when you're looking at four gray concrete walls, it's hard enough to imagine seeing your kitchen there or your living room or your bathroom, never mind exactly where you want to put your sockets and your TV sockets and your light sockets. So to simplify it for you the best way I can, before first fixed stage, what you need to do is you need to be organized and you need to plan. And planning and very careful, thorough, meticulous planning is and strategic planning is exactly how you will get through your build and come out of it the other end with a house that you love and you'll actually have enjoyed the whole process. So before you start your first fix electrical placement, I want you to have in place your complete kitchen plan. This means, yes, at this very early stage, you need to know exactly what your kitchen's going to look like the exact layout of it and then from that it is academic and so easy to find out where to put your hob switches, where to put your sockets, where to put your power for your fridge and all of that. So one of the first things that you must do is pick your kitchen. That wasn't what you were expecting me to say but kitchen is probably the first thing that I do when I'm working on a new hall there and I'm not sure if that was a blip or if you heard that coming through. Anyway, pick your kitchen, pick your layout, pick your style because never mind the lighting you need to know what your kitchen is going to look like because it will determine the look of the rest of your house and you need a kitchen that you absolutely fall in love with, that you love and adore, uh, a kitchen that you will love forever and ever. So get your kitchen plans in place at the beginning, then get into your bathroom planning and get your bathroom planned out so that you know where your shower is going to go, where you know where your bath is going to go, where you know where your, where your sink is going to go or your vanity. So then you can put in power for your shower, power for strip lights under the bath if you want them, um, power at the mirror, all of that. This is a time that you do this. Um, again, with your bedrooms and your living room, I would actually make a plan on paper or in your head, know where your sofas are going to go, know where your lamp tables are going to be and then you can easily decide where you want your lamp sockets to be and your double sockets uh, and all of that and it's easy, it actually is that easy and that logical but you must have a plan in your mind, a placement plan, um, a spatial plan for every single room in your house and then you will get your lighting spec absolutely perfectly, um, 100%. Now, lighting is another ball game. My God, lighting is probably the most important thing to consider, or certainly one of the big ones, when you're building your house or your renovation or your extension. And lighting is very often an afterthought for many people, and this is a bit of a disaster. We live in Ireland, you know, and we need to help that light along. Even though it's the middle of summer, you know, it's actually quite a dark day here today, and I have some lights on in the background. So your lighting placement is really, really, really important. So I want you to think carefully about the type of lighting that you want uh, and what you want your lighting for. You're going to need task lighting, you're going to need mood lighting, accent lighting. Well, you need to figure out exactly what you want and where you want to have it. I'll start with the ceilings. In 
most rooms, but certainly in a living room and in a bedroom, I would always include a pendant light because if you don't have a pendant light, if you have spots, the room becomes a little bit bottom heavy and you actually need that decorative pendant light in the center of the room to anchor the room. And even though you might say to me, Anne, I never turn that big light on. Well, you know what? That doesn't matter because you still need it um, and it, it has to be there. You won't get the same effect if you just have flat spots in your wall. So certainly in living room and in all your bedrooms, I would most definitely have um, pendants. Now, I've made little notes here for me just of the lights that I would use. Spotlights, I like spotlights a lot. And spotlights, recess spotlights have come on in leaps and bounds since the day of having transformers that blew and lights that gave all sorts of trouble with these individual transformers. Well, the spotlights now, the recess spotlights now are a bit bigger. And to be honest, you don't see the light fitting anymore. You just see the light and you can have a cool light or a warm light. To be perfectly truthful, I prefer to use the warm lights because I like that sort of daylight ambience, that look of daylight that you'll get from um, a, a warm light. And of course they come with LED bulbs as well. So they're energy efficient and they last forever and the light quality is really, really good. So where would I put spotlights? I always put them in the functional part of your kitchen. Uh, you will certainly, you can have hanging lights, one or two or three over your island. You can do the same over your table, but for the functional part of your kitchen, I would definitely like to have, um, and I always do have spotlights. In your hallways, I like to have spotlights because it just provides a lovely, clean, um, warm look and it's safe. There's very, very good lighting. Now, over your stairs, by all means, you can have the most amazing hanging down decorative modern, contemporary, traditional, whatever you want, big light over your um, over your stairs, go ahead and do that. That's a feature light, that's a different story. And again, you'll need to think about the placement of that at this stage because there is no point in having a light, a decorative light over your stairs that has been positioned in a spot that's inaccessible so that you need three men and scaffolding to change a bulb. So do think about that and let common sense dictate the placement of that particular light. Um, where else will I use spotlights? I always put them in a home office because you're working on a laptop or a computer or an iPad and you need that good light to actually, um, you know, help your eyesight and minimize eye strain and it's just a very good light to be working with. I also always put them in bathrooms. Now, obviously the light that goes into a bathroom is different. It's IP and it's sealed, but again, you get this lovely clean light for putting on your makeup, for shaving and Definitely I use um, recess spots always in my bathrooms. Um, going back to the kitchen, um, you would also obviously have strip lights under your top units if you have them. You might like to put an LED strip at the bottom so that the kitchen appears to be floating and this can look quite well in a more contemporary kitchen. Uh, you might like to have your stairs illuminated, have every, single, every second step with a little light on. Um, in your bathroom, you might like to put um, an LED strip under the bath. Sometimes I do this, particularly if it's a bath that has to be tiled in and boxed in and sort of form like a kickboard at the bottom and or um, yeah, kickboard type effect and put lights in it. And that's lovely at night because the bath actually looks like it's floating up. Now, I'm going to have to put my glasses on because I know that some of you are there and I don't know who's there. So this is fantastic. It's going to be a really nice surprise for me. Um, Okay, I've done something silly now. No, I, I don't see anybody there, but that could be just me. There could be lots of you there. And if you join in, do say hello. And if you have any questions, will you please, please ask me and I will quite happily um, answer them live now or I will answer them later on if you just put the question in the comment box and, um, and I'll see it and I'll answer it for you. So when you're planning um, your, your lighting spec as well, it's very important, I love lamps. I love lamps in a and I would have lamps in the corner of every room. And I like to have my lamps on a five amp switch socket so that you just can just come in, flick a switch, your lamps go on and happy days, you know, you've got this lovely, all your lamps are on and men are not great at turning on lamps. So at least they come in, they turn on the lights and the right lighting that you want immediately comes on. Don't forget dimmers as well. And make sure if you've got LED bulbs that your dimmer switches are actually compatible with that particular 
LED, that's really, really important. Um, what else have I got here? Very short list, actually. Um, wall lights. Wall lights are coming back into fashion with a bang. And even though I tend not to follow the trends, um, I think I fell out of favour with wall lights because for so long, all you had were those plaster lights that you painted in the same colour as your wall. And you got those in all shapes and sizes. But actual wall lights, decorative wall lights, there weren't that many that were very attractive. Whereas now I'm finding the market is flooded with the most gorgeous wall lights. And some of them are tall and skinny where the light goes up and comes down. And you can get all sorts of lovely um, wall effects from, um, I'm seeing some, oh Una, hi Una. Gosh, I haven't seen you in years, but it is lovely to see you here. So have fun with the wall lights. Um, if you're, you know, particularly in landings and places like that, um, or if you want to make a feature of a wall, uh, or if you've got a stone wall, it's lovely to have the light washing the wall. Um, what else? Picture lights, an interesting one. For a long, long time, we all had um, almost art gallery type picture lights on our art. And this is something that's not in vogue very much anymore. And to be honest, I couldn't tell you when was the last time that I actually used a wall light or a picture light. Um, I prefer to look at my art unilluminated. And I think if the light spec is good in your room and in your house, I'm seeing, am I seeing Denise O'Chalkensee? I am, well, hello there, Denise, how are you? I haven't seen you since the home show. Lovely to see you here. Um, so picture lights, if you like them, go ahead and do them, have them. Personally, I don't. I prefer to hang art, lots and lots of art, and I'm sure there'll be another Facebook Live about that later on because you know how passionate I am about art and how to hang it right, how to get at the right height and how to group it all right. But picture lights are a little bit passe and um, not something that I'm doing very much at all. Um, let me see. Bathroom lights. Bathroom lights important. Um, you will find, particularly with at the moment with bathrooms, I find that I am hang, hanging a wall hung vanity unit with a sink on the wall in a bathroom, which is great because it frees up the floor space and it looks attractive. And above them, I'm finding fantastic variety in lighted wall mirrors. They have LED lights. They have the lights coming up and down. The Hollywood starlets had the right idea with their um, makeup mirrors that had the bulbs up and down because that is the best way for the light to fall on your face when you're doing your makeup or, ha or shaving. So you will find fantastic selection in the bathroom shops so with these wonderful wall mounted mirrors um, that are illuminated and they're so attractive to look at and they also have a demist mat built in as well and they're motion sensitive and they're energy efficient so that is definitely the way to go has anybody got any questions for me i'm going to have to put the glasses on again um gina hi there how are you god i haven't seen you in a good while either this is lovely um it's probably me but i'm not actually seeing any uh no i'm not seeing any questions there um you know what, I'll hang on for a few minutes because you might be slow to the party or maybe pe people did come in at three o'clock and I wasn't there because it took me a little bit of time to set this up. Um, now, one thing that I will tell you while I'm waiting, Laurie McGee, how are you? Gosh, it's lovely to see you. I've seen faces here that I haven't seen in ages and that is just fantastic. Um, but I do want to tell you about something. Last year, I launched a designer on call program where I launched a very affordable way that people could get to work with me every single day of their build through every single trauma and challenge and joy and whatever that they had throughout the build. So I have finished up the last program. I currently have one couple that I'm working with over in Mayo, but everybody else has finished. They're in their houses and it's all happy days and it's been a really, really good experience. So I've opened up the Designer on Call program for five more people. And this will be the last call, obviously, for 2017. It won't happen again until 2018. So if you are building and you would like me to be on board for every single step of the way, you know, whether it's picking your kitchens, your tiles, your electrical spec, your lights, your whatever, windows, architrave, door, it doesn't matter. I will be there. I will help you. I will guide you. Um, the objective is for you to get the best possible house and to spend the least possible amount of money. Stretch that budget as far as it goes. So if you are building or thinking of building and you'd like to talk to me a bit more about this, do, because it's only just opened and the five places, as far as I know, are still available. So now let me get back to lighting. Has anybody got any more questions for me? 
could it be possible that I'm doing something wrong and I can't see the questions? I've actually got a new iPhone and it's a little bit different to the previous one. Um, well, look, you know, if, if you have questions and I can't actually get to answer them live, well, don't worry about it. Put the questions in the, um, in, in the box below and I'll happily happily answer them or get back to you. Um, now I have been putting out questions to people and asking them what are their biggest challenges with building and I'm getting lots very very varied responses back. I suppose it's depending on what stage of the build people are at. So if you have a particular question or an issue that you're struggling with well please please let me know in the comments below and I will do another quick Facebook live just for you where I will address that question because you won't be the only one and to be honest you know people struggle with the same issues over and over um, the big things now this is very off lighting for a minute but I think planning is what it's all about at a very early stage you do need to plan your layouts you need to plan your kitchen you need to plan the bathrooms your the style of your stairs um, you need to plan the overall look and feel for your house because your house must flow properly your flow is so so important um, there's probably another Facebook live on flow alone never mind lighting and lighting and flow and layout they're all intertwined they all work together so it's going back to that planning word everything is about meticulous planning and if you do that I promise you absolutely promise you hand on heart your house will turn out perfectly it will be a showstopper and you will be so so proud of it so I'm going to wrap up this is a very short Facebook live uh, but at least it's got me into the flow of it and I might just try to figure out my phone a bit better for the next time um, so if you do have a question, anything at all, please ask and I will answer. On Sunday evening I had a very interesting um, thing happen on my Facebook page, on the Room Junkie Facebook page. I put out a question and I said, if you'd one wish in your house, what would it be? Well, I was absolutely shocked at uh, 8,000, I think 8,500 people actually responded and 65 odd people gave me, sent me a, a direct message which I have I think I've managed to get back to everybody. So it's funny, our wish lists, you know what, they're all very similar. And sometimes, you know, they're very hard to achieve. I had one lady with a particular problem with soot coming through her chimney, which is going to be a difficult one. And then others just wanting to bite the bullet, take a deep breath and paint their pine kitchens. But if you do have a question, please, I will encourage you. I will definitely get back to you as soon as I can. And if I've got a blog post or information that I can send you or a video or whatever to point you in the right direction, I will do that as well. So short and sweet, I do apologize if you have posted a question and I can't see it, but look, at as soon as I'm finished, I will have a look and um, I'll get back to you straight away. So I will probably do another Facebook Live next Thursday. I haven't quite figured out what the topic is going to be yet. So you have time. If there's something that you want me to talk about and help you with, well, um, just pop it, in the, down, pop it down below. I'm seeing lots of other people coming up here now, which is brilliant. Um, ah, Marina, my goodness, this is amazing. Marina is one of my old boarding school buddies, and that's another Facebook Live that we should do because I met up with another of my girl buddies during the week, and it's set up... Um, a situation where lots of us are now talking to each other so isn't Facebook great my boys hate it I think it's fantastic so okay I'm going to go now I shall talk to you all very very soon probably next Thursday so until then stay fabulous and you know what I actually don't remember how to turn off the camera so bear with me if I'm here for a wee while longer